sometimes the earth can act like a big greenhouse. The sun emits light and heat, and we feel that is infrared radiation, the heat coming off of it. And this is short length infrared radiation. It comes from the sun down to the earth, and because of the wavelength, it can pass through the atmosphere. Now, some of this gets absorbed by the earth, and some of it gets bounced back out. When it gets bounced back out, all of that heat is lost. But the problem is, an increase in greenhouse gases is making the atmosphere thicker. So by greenhouse gases, I mean things like water vapour, methane, carbon dioxide, and what these do is they trap the infrared radiation and stop it getting out. So it can still get back in, it's just when it changes wavelength it can't get back out. And all that happens is it keeps bouncing around, heating up the earth as it goes. And now this is a problem because the earth is getting uh, warmer and if you notice up here we have the polar ice caps. If these melt, it will cause sea levels to rise and places could become flooded. There are lots and lots of different problems associated with global warming and I'll go into more detail on that in a different video. For this, all you need to know is that the infrared radiation comes in and normally it should escape but because of the thickening of the atmosphere, after the infrared radiation comes in, it can no longer escape and just bounces around, warming the earth up even more. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Check out my website, bromoskin.com, for any new videos, all the videos sorted by exam board, the blog, and any um, extra advice there is. Any comments, questions, topic requests, or um, corrections below.